Hey, this is Joseph Lebrec, and I'm going to be looking today at uh, a new feature in Adobe Edge Preview 4 called Playback Actions. So, in this little uh, little sample document here, this composition, uh, we've basically got uh, a little pendulum moving back and forth and some text and so forth. But the thing is, if we look at this, so I'll do a control enter here, you know, we don't want this to kind of start right away. We want that little pause in the beginning. And that's actually something that I haven't, you wouldn't normally have if I just started it out like that. It would just start, as you can see right here. I've added this little space in here. It's pretty much half of a second um, just to sort of get things going. However, that introduces some problems because I've got this pendulum here which is on the stage, even if I don't start animating other elements right away, I'm gonna not want this pendulum to start swinging until we're at least that half second in. And the way I can accomplish that is through uh, autoplay settings on the symbol itself and also playback actions. So firstly the symbol. Now when you create a new symbol inside of Edge Preview 4. So I'm going to hit Control Y and create a symbol here. You've got this choice whether you want to autoplay timeline or not. If you autoplay, as soon as your movie starts and that particular symbol is on the stage, it's going to start playing its own timeline. You don't necessarily always want this. So you can disable that for a particular symbol if you want to. For this pendulum symbol here, Oops, that's my image. This pendulum swinging symbol, if we edit this, we can see that within its timeline, we've actually got the autoplay option right there that we can toggle on and off. I want this off because I want to be able to control through the main timeline when this symbol's timeline begins playing. So I'm going to go back to the stage, and on the symbol itself, you can probably see here uh, within the symbol I've got this playback layer going on and I've got a little play indicator here that can be dragged around I've also got a little stop indicator here because not only do I want it to play from a certain point I also want it to stop at a certain point basically when this hand comes up and stops the pendulum I want the pendulum to stop swinging and the way to do that is to tell its timeline to stop so the way you can do this is to go in through, um, if you've already got a playback layer in here, um, it's pretty simple to just go in and issue a command to play, to play from a certain time or label, uh, reverse or stop. All right? And that all works kind of the same. When you're first doing it, you're probably going to have to do it from the properties panel. And that's fairly easy. It's right near the scrub indicator here. Uh, is the playback actions um, little little dingle doggle here. So this thing provides us with the same options and we would just say, oh I want to start to play from we can choose a label or we can choose a certain time offset here and you can see it injects that right there. I can delete that if I want to and you know, it works really well for commanding things like this from the timeline. So, again, I've got this space where I don't want the pendulum timeline in that symbol to actually move. So, I have that timeline set to not autoplay. But when I hit here, I issue the command through a playback action for it to begin playing. It then begins swinging, and it's in line with my stage animation. And then I want it to stop right there when the hand comes up and stops it. So I issue that stop command. And when we test it, we can see that it's playing because I told it to. And it stops right there because I told it to.